Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a three month forecast for the air signs Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, this is going to be a three month forecast. I focus on relationships. Whatever else comes up, comes up. It's going to be for the next three months from the time that you watch this. Okay, so the, the first 30 days, the second 30 days, and the, third for, and the third 30 days. So for the next 90 days. Okay. This is for um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun sign, Star sign. Okay, this is not to go to all the other readings and try to pick apart which one you like the best. For this reading in particular, this three-month forecast is for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as your main sign. I'm going to get month number one, month number two, and month number three. Month number one. Triumph. Month number two. Solitude. And month number three. Sacrifice. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, right now, as you are watching this, there's some sort of victory. There's some sort of success. You're going to have some sort of, your move, this is the chariot card. You're moving forward in the right direction, moving very quickly. It's like you are in control. There's a lot of discipline. There's a lot of mental strength. So right now you're having a lot of mental strength, a lot of uh, discipline to complete something. Next month. Next month you may feel like you need to replan. You may feel like you need to go within. Maybe you're feeling alone the next month, you know, maybe you need to be alone Maybe you're trying to go through some sort of get some sort of information go through some sort of awakening or something like that You need more information. Maybe you need to take a time out step back This is the hermit card go within replan go back to the book, right? So, uh, 60 days, no, 30, 60, 90. So this is the third month. This is the third month. Um, sacrifice, this is a temperance card. This is balance, harmony, peace. At ease, look at her, I mean, completely at ease, at peace. So yeah, you may have to take a minute to go within, but it's going to bring you to peace. It's going to bring you the peace. So within three months, you're going to be evolved. Okay? So yeah, I mean, this is really, really good. It starts out with you moving in a new direction. So right now, you're headed in a new direction. Okay? And you're probably moving really quick, you know? You got your pedal to the metal. You're ready for change, right? Right? You're like, I am ready to go right now and change things. You're in control. It's like, I'm the boss and I'm moving in a new direction. Get the hell out of my way. That's where you're at right now. Next month, you might need to slow down a little bit. You may need to slow down and go within and go back to the book and go back to the drawing board to see what you forgot or to see what you need to revise, to reevaluate re the whole situation. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you usually do have to reevaluate, so you may need to go back to the drawing board. But, you know, they say it takes 12, 12 weeks to change, right? Well, oh, son of a bitch, we got this 12, I just happened to notice it. I said that before I noticed it, okay? Now, this is the hangman. I don't know, did I say temperance? I might have. I was thinking temperance. But anyway, this is the hangman. This is changing. It takes 12 weeks to change. So that's what's happening. By the third month, you are going to be a different person. So keep doing what you're doing. Follow your plans. 
All right, now we're going to break it down by month. You ready for this? You're headed in the right direction. You're headed toward victory and success. And you want to know why? Because you have the mental strength to complete your task. Amazing. It's amazing how that shit plays out, isn't it? Month number one. Month number one. The net, right now, the, to the next 30 days. Right now, to the next 30 days. <laughs> yeah. All right, now you know I focus on love, right? We've talked about this many times. Um, you guys may not be looking for an opportunity in love, right? This month, right now, at this point. You know, you may not. If you are single, you may be like, you know, I'm working on me because it really looks like somebody here is. But you could be tempted. You could be tempted by something. With a devil card, I mean, you could be really, really tempted. Tempted to go off track. I mean, what happens when you're, when you're finding discipline, when you need discipline to complete a task? You get tempted. So you're going to be tempted. You are going to be tempted. But you don't want to lose all the hard work, so keep that in mind. You're going to be tempted with some sort of addiction, and this could be, or an obsession, or a bad habit, okay? Something is going to tempt you, but I have to tell you, it's not going to last. Whatever, if you follow this path, you're not going to get happiness out of it. You know, this is like charming, right? This is, you could be tempted by somebody who, or a situation, this could be an addiction, tempted by something that really isn't going to be emotionally fulfilling. So it's, it will just be a lost opportunity. You'll lose time. So this month, I feel like you're, you're headed in the right direction. You're mastering your emotions. You're doing what you need to do. And you're going to be tempted by the devil to go off track. You know, they're going to test you. They're going to test you. Because we have this change card, the hangman. There. Can you stick it out? Can you stick this out? Can you follow your, your plan? Can you get, make it to your goal? Can you stick it out? Can you, can you, can you? Here we have the Five of Cups. You know, you have something really, really, really good waiting for you. Really good. And you need to stop thinking that whatever it is that you had was better or fulfilled you more because it didn't. It didn't. Here we have a lack of energy, a lack of ambition, a lack of drive. You may, for a minute, you might get stuck. You might, you might get stuck this month thinking, you know, uh, I might lose my discipline or I might succ succumb to this temptation. Well, I feel like it, you will uh, be presented with an opportunity to go down the wrong track. Absolutely, you're gonna. And what does the devil bring in? Nothing good. Nothing that is lasts. Nothing that lasts. Nothing long term. Just just um, immediate gratification. That's all it's gonna give you is immediate gratification and then and then you're gonna be um you're gonna see it was a complete loss. You will have, it will be a complete loss. So you're gonna be presented with, with an opportunity to go down the wrong road in this next month ahead. You're you're headed in the right direction, you're mastering your emotions, you're gung ho, you're ready to go, and here comes that test. Ain't that the way it always is? Anyway, you're probably get presented with some sort of offer. And it's going to be emotional. It's going to feed your soul, whatever this is. Whether it's whatever it is, it's going to feed your soul. It could be a person, could be a habit, could be an addiction, could be whatever it is. You're going to be presented with this false, lie, uh, loving feeling, okay? Whatever it is, whether it's a literal, literal person or it's a addiction, you're going to be presented with it, right? That's what's going to happen, okay? It's going to happen. And you're going to have to you know, make a decision. You're going to have to make a decision. You want to, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to be presented with a temptation. 
in January. Well, uh, well, I'm saying January, but it's not. It's the month that it's the next 30 days. Whenever you watch this, whenever you watch this reading. Mm. You will be, you will end up feeling betrayed. You will end up feeling betrayed and hurt and stabbed if you go down the whatever tempting road this is. You, you know, it's almost like you're going to receive something. You are, like, this is some sort of emotional contentment you're going to receive something you know that's going to feed your soul and in the end it's going to really hurt you what advice do we have for uh the end to end this month i mean what what one more card one more card mm, judgment call he decision <laughs> Judgment call. This is a wake-up call. That's what this card is. You know, this is rising up. Rising up from the ashes. You've come so far. You're going in a different direction now. Somebody, I mean, I have to tell you this. I hate to say it, but this could be somebody from your past that has stabbed you. Because this is like a reconciliation that wants a reconciliation. You've come so far. You've, you've, you've done so much work. Be careful. Be very, very careful. Somebody may want a reconciliation with you. They may want to come in and try to sweep you off your feet. And it's all a lie. You have a better opportunity. It's funny that how I described this card a minute ago. Stop focusing on that. You have something better. Whoever this person is that wants to reconcile, if it's a person or whatever, or if it's a drug, it's all a lie. It's all a lie. And a person can be like a drug, right? It's like a codependency thing. You are going to be presented with an opportunity to go down that wrong road, and it's going to lead you to nothing solid, nothing stable, and some more pain. Don't do it. Next 30 days. Let's go on to the next month, why don't we? The next month. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Sixty days. Sixty days. Go within. Absolutely. You guys are going to be going within to figure out the truth. To regain some sort of power. After being distracted. Son of a bitch. I love it when they come out quick like that. Son of a gun. A judgment again. I'm going to try not to swear. Anyway, um, yeah, you guys, you know, and it's because you made the right judgment call, call. This is a distraction. Somebody has come the month before and distracted you. And you're probably going to be really discontent. You're probably going to be like, oh, my God. If you went down that road, you're going to be discontent. You're going to be unhappy. Maybe you had to give up the opportunity. You know, this is a passed up opportunity. It's like, no, I just don't think I can go back. Remember, we had the five of cups. Now we have the four of cups. I can't go back to that pain. I can't go back to that pain. So some of you are going to make the right decision and not go there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Some of you are going to, 
you know, but it's going to, it may stir up some memories. She's remembering and it may stir up some memories and stir up some old pains, but I feel like you're probably going to need to go in and, and regroup, go back to the drawing board and see what the next step is. You know, what is the next step? I got distracted for a minute, but I am going through my awakening, big awakening, awakening in that last one with that judgment card and this one. So you're still awakening. You're waking up, you're healing, you're, you're accepting your own truth. You're finding out what your truth is. And you're headed towards towards wish fulfillment. You absolutely are. And the reason that you're headed towards wish fulfillment is because you're taking the time to reevaluate. You're taking the time to to figure out who you are, and you're making the right decisions. Some of you are. Some of you are. Some of you are absolutely releasing and forgiving the past. You may, and that may be why this thing happened the month before was so that you could release the last memories or whatever it is. So I feel like this next month you get you are probably going to go within to get over something that distracted you. You know, what's the next step? What is the next step? Um, <laughs> that hay band's pretty prominent. It's come up right three times now. So you guys are definitely headed towards the, you know, towards peace you are but right now it's not happened yet I don't think it's happened yet I think you're still you're still going through that awakening you're still being enlightened and I think the only way to do that is to turn away from all of the issues you know the feuds the the unstable situations and I think that's what you're gonna do I think that you're gonna turn down something that perhaps this is turning down a stable opportunity or a stable something that used to be stable it's not stable anymore it's it's unstable it's like turning away from it it's like getting out of it so the next month you're you're just you may think about moving you may plan on moving because this is often moving but there still could be some fear there could be some fear you know fear of is this what i really want it is there it is what you want. Because we have wish fulfillment twice. You guys are letting go of something that is no longer stable in that second month. And maybe that's why that other thing had to happen. So that you could realize that you really, 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 really do have another opportunity. And that's the only thing you want, right? You only want the honest, truthful, genuine, full cup of love. You don't want this half-ass shit that's floating. Anyway, um... It looks like you guys are definitely going through some sort of conscious awareness, a spiritual awakening this 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 second month. Big time. Judgment, hey man, star, um, hermit. So you're going through a spiritual awakening this second month where you're really, really, really waking up. I mean, really, really, really. It's like a whole different you. Healing, ultimate healing with the star card. And it's because you've taken the time to go really, really deep within. So I think this is a month of soul searching, really. I think that second month is soul searching and, you know, doing whatever you got to do to bring peace. A lot of peace. This is peace. This is peace. This is peace. This is peace because you forgive. Forgiveness and peace is happening in that second month. Is there new love coming in? I don't think so because I don't think you're there's no love in these cards because it's coming you're not quite you're not looking at it yet you're not ready for it yet you're in the process of regaining your own power you're in the process of figuring out who you are of, of regaining your own truth so I don't think you're really focused on love this this next 60 days whatever it is we're gonna go on to the next one The third month, the third month, the third month. It's like, and I'm getting the goosebumps, it's almost like a purity. It's like you're almost pure, not that you're going to be fully pure, right? Pure again, it's like I feel pure. This time of solitude and sacrifice has given you, it's like you've done some sort of cleansing and you're going to receive a blessing. Because 
a rainbow is a blessing. It's peace. It's really, really at peace with where you're at by this third month. Whew. Yeah, you guys have a new beginning here. A big one. A big, 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 big one. It's because you've completed this life lesson. A karmic chapter in your life. I'm getting the goosebumps like crazy. It's like there's no more deception. There's no more animosity. Uh, it's like I don't, I'm not going to cheat myself. You're not, it's like a, I think that you guys have let something go that, oh, I'm going to get some more cards, but you've let something go that was robbing you of peace. It's gone. I see, I see a new beginning, a new vision, a new life. That's what this is. A new path, a new destination, a new journey. It doesn't look like you're still not focused on love. You know, you're still because you're headed in a new direction. You are. I mean, it looks as though that third month you're... Uh, you're, worse, you're, you're moving. You're really moving. You could be literally moving. Like, remember we saw that in the other one. You could be literally... Uh, traveling, either you're traveling or you're scheduling travel or you're actually moving to a new destination, like packing up and moving. Um, it feels like you may be a little bit, um, you're probably not really feeling very playful as far as love goes because you're not focused on love. It don't look like you're focused on love here. It doesn't. I think you're focused on your new vision, your new life, your new beginning, your new chapter. You are. You're focused on your new vision, your new long-term goal that's what's going on here and I think that you know you're probably open to working together with someone you're you know maybe you're even starting to communicate with people but it's like as far as going out and playing it doesn't look like that's where you're at it's like I'm not I don't want to go play so the, I don't think this is about love it's like you're not focused on being playful you're focused on your yourself you're focused on your own growth that third month so do I think that love is going to come in that third month? No, because I don't think you're looking for it. If whoever this reading is for, I don't think you are. I think that right now you're not willing to compromise your growth for a relationship. You're not really, really, really ready to do that. You don't want to rob yourself of this new, new life, this new beginning. Because I think you're starting really, really, really over and you're at complete peace. Now 15, here we got that devil again. That devil just keeps on a popping up for you, huh? Because ego is always an issue. Always. For everybody. Everybody has it. Right now, you're focused on the finer things in life. You're not really focused on love. And I have to say at this point, I think that you need to do what's right for you. Maybe it's time. Maybe you need to. Maybe this is this is something that, you know, this says this is the devil card. The devil uh, can um, disguise things. Okay, so don't let your, you know, uh, the devil was once an angel. The devil is a fallen angel. So this message that I have is do not let your peace, your enlightenment, you know, go too far. It's in, 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 who's to say what is too far, but I'm just saying. I mean, you've got to remember that is what the devil is. The devil was once an angel. Be careful. It's not about things. It's not about stuff. It's not about you know, always being the best. It's, it's about peace. It's about harmony. It's about kindness. It's about, um, really focusing on love. See, he's got his arms crossed. It's like he almost has forgotten what love, what life is all about. 
maybe you're you're vibrating at a high level now and you and you're looking really good because that's what happens when you go through these changes your health changes your your whole makeup changes everything changes you know when you're going through these huge transformational changes that you're going through it's like your whole aura your whole everything is changing but also your perception of yourself is changing so sometimes we can get a big head and you need to be careful that, you know, love is kind. So I feel like you, the, the third month, you have, you're going down a new path, a, a big one, a big, big, big one. One, one chapter of your life is over, but uh, an advice card is to not go overboard. Um, is there love coming in? Right now, I think you're just coming out of a dark period. You know, you are. You are. So I don't think that you're really focused on love. I think that you're coming out of the darkness and the light is start, starting to shine again. And you're probably not quite ready to jump into a new relationship. So, you know, that's three months out. Is there new love coming in? I don't think you want it. I think you're focusing on you. And that is the that's that's not really a sacrifice because look at how how good this person looks and how at peace she is. She's so serene. She's so at ease. I mean, she is um, beautiful. So I feel as though the sacrifices that you are making are leading you down a a new path towards extreme victory and success. So I think the third month you may um, not, you may receive an offer. You may receive another tempting offer of love. Very tempting. Another tempting offer of love from somebody and you may still be like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Will they accept this offer of love? You probably are going to receive one tempting offer. Again, from the fucking past. Excuse my language. It could be somebody that... Now, when I say somebody from the past, excuse my language. Every once in a while, I slip. This person could be somebody that you knew when you were a child. It doesn't have to be the ex that you hate, okay? It doesn't. This could be somebody that you knew from a long time ago. It could be somebody that was just an acquaintance from a long time ago. It could be a past life person. But it could be that ex that you don't want to hear from. It, it absolutely could be. Whatever this is, this is somebody that you probably have known before. It probably is. That is going to tempt you with a lusty offer of sex perhaps I mean that's what I'm telling you you could get an offer for that but it doesn't lead to real love okay just saying it doesn't whether you're the one that doesn't um, follow through or the other person doesn't follow through it's just like a third party situation so you're going to be tempted you are going to be tempted with some sort of you know uh, oh you know whatever and you know you're going to end up feeling robbed and cheated okay because this person whoever this it does it will be you know a situation in which you do feel robbed and cheated over a, like perhaps a third party situation so do not um make the wrong choice this is a choice okay so yeah you're going to be presented with a tempting offer so that's what I have for the next three months you are headed towards victory and success don't give away your purity to just anybody and that's what I have